Welcome to another episode of Your Cochrane Right Now. This is a weekly podcast all about the best town in the entire world, Cochrane, Alberta. Lauren Meister is here as always. My name's Eric Ruddle. And Lauren, there's such a cool production going on in town right now. Frozen Junior. This is so exciting. I mean, a live, full-on production put on by Bow Valley High School. Um, again, a lot of people haven't gone to see a live performance in yes. a couple of years. But, you know, all of the cast members, the cast and crew, they've been working for months, like since the fall. And at the beginning, when they started working on this, they didn't actually know whether or not they're going to be performing for a live audience. So they they started things off knowing that this could have been a virtual event. Yeah. And uh, so. no offense to the high school drama kids that I went to school with. This is way better. The <laughs> Olaf is like he was ripped from the movie. Oh, it's yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Well, actually, so I had the chance to catch up with the with Olaf. So right. Ar- Arden Lowe, that's the the actor. He, yes. I believe he's in, he's in grade 12. Nice. Um, I think that they had ordered about three different Olaf costumes. And uh, it took a little bit to find the perfect costume. And just the way he was describing all of the problems that he was having with costumes. And he was saying that even this last costume, it was tricky because you can't really move around in it. And he said, that the head kept on falling off. So oh, he's having some problems. Yes. Anyway, it was just so funny listening to all the behind the scenes issues with yeah. it. But um, man, I, my son actually got to be part of the grade three class oh, that cool. went and watched the yeah. performance. And uh, he said it was absolutely fantastic. But uh, Olaf stole the show. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. And uh, we both have young ladies, right? So I've seen the movie at least 16,000 times. Probably, yeah. And I'm interested to see this version of it, right? Like, it's going to be really fun. It's going for a couple of nights here throughout the rest of the week. Well, there's six performances. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Noel went to the opening one at the grade three and threw up some photos up on CochraneNow.com. And the best part was talking to Noel. He's never seen the movie. Yeah. So, So he has a perspective about it that I think very rare, right? Like, oh, for sure. Like, he's not familiar with Elsa and no, Anna like, and what's Frozen. Going on? Like, he had no idea. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, totally. He had no idea who these characters yeah. were. So, but he he said he wants to see the movie now. Like, he's super intrigued. Um, but I'm just thinking, too, like, the pressure, too, of trying to hit those notes. Like, oh. let it go. Like, that is a song that, uh, man, I wouldn't want to try to sing that. And starting in front of grade threes, <laughs> if there's one song they know, it's let it go. Yeah. Like, they know if you're slightly off. Tune. Oh, yeah. 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 But uh, <laughs> apparently it's just such a great performance. And uh, we've got lots of photos. We've even got a video, a little bit of a sneak peek. Ooh. It's up on CochraneNow.com. And uh, it's just fantastic. So we were uh, talking in the newsroom today about what's coming up in town. And it looks like Greystone, which is the dirt pile near Spray Lakes, yeah, is going to too. start being developed. Yeah. And they're uh, starting with a couple of houses, but a really big retail kind of area. Yeah. Including, the rumors are, a grocery store. Yes. If you could choose a grocery store to come to Cochrane, any kind of grocery store, probably not Costco, what are you picking? <laughs> My vote would be a co-op. Yeah. Co-op is the richest person grocery store. Have you ever been to the one in uh, Royal Oak? Uh, not the Royal Oak one, but I'm from a small town in Saskatchewan and every small town has a co-op. So no, when I think co-op, I don't think rich. Oh, it's, it's extremely both. rich. But no, I don't I don't think that. I think like small town, <laughs> no, community, no. like grassroots. Yeah, yeah. no. I, I think of like you walk in and they're like, would you like an hors d'oeuvre, sir? <laughs> 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, we Not need a superstore. Superstore. Because yeah. it is one of the cheapest ones. I don't want to pack my own some, bags. You don't pack your own bags at Superstore? Well, yes, you do. No. What superstore do I you don't shop know. The at? The one in the city. They have so much stuff. No, in my you clothes. pack. You pack your own bags. I do like Superstore for if there's a good if there's a Joe Fresh section. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I like the kids' clothing and like just well, anytime you can shop for clothes, right? There's, I'm game, right? I'd like to think but, I'm a easygoing guy. I don't have anxiety or anything. But when you do have to pack your own groceries and it just keeps coming, and oh. you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, and they keep hitting the button and your bread smushing, and then the next person's checking on you. You're like, I'm so oh. sorry. Yeah. Oh, 
that causes me a great deal of stress, especially <laughs> when you're shopping with your kids, and oh then you have kids gosh. that aren't listening, or yeah. kids that are taking off. Especially when, like, when their kids are little. Like yeah. my kids are starting to get a little bit older now, so I'm not worried about them taking off and yeah. running into the parking lot. But <laughs> no. that was a thing a few years yeah. ago, and so I would avoid going to a grocery store where I had to pack my own bags. So yeah, no uh, co-op. That's not that's co-op. my boat. Too that is, expensive. No, I don't yes. think so. Apparently, there's going to be a hotel as well ah, in Greystone. We yeah. need a new one. We do, <laughs> we do need a new one. But what a great location right next to Spray Lakes. Oh, yeah, exactly, right? Like, would a hotel so close to Spray Lakes need a water slide? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you go to hotels without water slides, right? Well, just think about, like, that, like, when you drive by Spray Lakes on the weekend, yeah. the parking lot is packed. Oh, yeah. I mean, and you, you got think all the tournaments, tournaments there yeah. every single weekend. Yeah. So if there was a hotel right there... I would imagine it'd be booked up all of the time for yeah. all of those tournaments. So, and then all of those families, of course, they would want a water slide yeah. at their hotel. Yeah. Have you ever That's stayed a in a hotel here in Cochrane? You probably um, have because you shop at co op, so you got money. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. I've never stayed, but my in laws have stayed because sometimes my father in law works in the area, yes. and for some reason they don't stay with us, <laughs> and then they stay yeah. at oh, a hotel. Don't worry. So, we don't want to yeah, bother you. I know, I know. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they, they have stayed at a hotel, so yeah. I, we've used the, the water pool. Slide. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I've never actually stayed. Have you? Mm, yeah, wedding night. So we got married okay. at uh, a hall outside of town I'm blanking on. And then we didn't want to be like, okay, wedding, go let's, home. Go, let's go home. Yeah. So we stayed at the Ramada. Rest oh, in peace. Oh, and yeah. now it's gone. <laughs> now it's gone. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and uh, there's been so many cool fundraisers here in town for Ukraine. It seemed like when it first started, everybody was just kind of shell shocked. Yeah. And now people have been able to organize and a ton of money has been raised. Not even just here in town in Bread Creek, the Powderhorn reached out to us and they were like, Hey, we held a really cool event. Yeah. And uh to say they raised a couple of dollars is a little bit of an understatement. This is amazing. I mean, the people of the Bray Creek uh, area, yeah. it, one evening, almost nineteen thousand dollars. One day. <laughs> It's incredible. One day. Incredible. Yeah, like yeah. good on them. It's so cool to see cool things like that in smaller communities, yeah. right? Like everybody coming together. Yeah. Uh, we we caught up with Half Hitch. They have a special Ukrainian yeah. beer. Yeah. And uh, we we couldn't put the label in one of our stories because it is slightly inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to give it to whoever created the label. <laughs> the the artistry in there and all of the detail. There's a lot of images in there. Um, not appropriate for our website. No, no not, so, we, not so much. A little over the line, but uh, yeah, it, very cool. Yeah, and uh, we have an intern here and he was the one who did it. So he came back with stickers for this beer and the stickers had a not great slogan on it and a picture of the Russian leader and all that stuff. He's like, do you want these stickers? And I was like, I do not want these stickers. <laughs> Your kids would love them. My wife works at Half Hitch uh, as uh, just a server in her spare time. And what do I come out to my vehicle in? Several of those stickers. They, they, I just cannot escape them. They are everywhere. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. Oh, see, my yeah. kids love stickers. I'm sure your kids do too. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I don't know if I want my kids uh, running around with those stickers. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a per- certain appendage. And uh, nice. yeah, it, it would be great. But yeah. uh, more and more stores opening in town. Of course, you almost fainted. Your favorite store in the entire world is Winners. I do not understand it. To me, Winners is like... Kind of a thrift store. Is that not how it is? It's not used clothing. It's, so it's no. like the clothes that wouldn't sell in a normal store. Not necessarily. It's just sometimes like overstocked items. Right. And then they go to winners at a lesser price. Okay. It's not a thrift store. I don't know. It's not know. used. I don't know. But Come anyway, on. there is one coming to Cochrane, and everybody's been asking and sending us private messages being like, what's going in the old Canadian tire? Because yeah. now it's being like sectioned into things. Yes. Yeah. And we're still not 100% sure on like everything. Everything, but yeah. winners is confirmed. Pet Smart, Smart and Popeyes. Rexall right. as Rexall. well. Nice, but winners yeah. has a date and yeah. it seems extremely close for like how far along it is. Yeah, well, you <laughs> know, it's bustling. Less yeah. than two months. May well, 31st. two months. Yeah, I guess that's two yeah. months from now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like t- tomorrow. Yeah. Like, are you first in line there? Mm, probably. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my thing is though, is because yes, I know that it's pretty much my favorite store on the planet, but. It's, you know, it's a big building. Yes. 
But my question is, is who, like the, the people at the head office at Winners, why did they not get the whole retail space? It should have been a Winners. It's too big for a, a Winners. Ho- no, but a Winners Home Sense. Aren't Home Sense out of business? No, winners and home sense. It's home like I don't no, know. it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> I right? go shopping once. It's like the you. Yeah, we were totally out of touch. It's the home decor section right. of like winners is clothing. Yeah, and then home sense is like all of your home decor. Winners, right? I think, could do will probably do really here in town. Good in town because yeah. we have a lot of clothing stores, but they're they're your more unique, a little more it's higher boutique, end boutique, absolutely, right? which are fantastic, yes. and we absolutely support all of those. But uh, those t shirts you want to paint the house in, you run to winners, right? That kind of, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Paint the but house in the home decor. I think we have too many options here in town that. You don't think so? there's enough options with a home outfitters or home sense or wherever it is would not survive here in Cock. Are, are you kidding me right now? I am 100%. Are no, you kidding me? It would me? not survive. This town is filled with brand new houses. This town is filled with ladies who like to decorate their homes. And, you know, people in this town have great taste and want to spend, you know, time and money Isn't making their stores? home a beautiful home. Yeah, there's places to buy things for your home, but a home sense. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many of my friends are driving to the city all of the for time home sense? for home sense to buy throw pillows or throw blankets or candles or picture frames because they just there's not a huge selection of that here in town <laughs> oh trust me trust it's a me. thing the it is a thing pillows in town <laughs> well there you go i don't think it'd do well i i, I, I think there's a reason i for think that. we should do a poll do a poll <laughs> would home sense do well here in Cochrane? 100 it would yeah. and we got to a couple of weeks ago lauren and myself got to catch up with the great sixers at notre dame yeah so the french school here in yeah. town and they were learning about news articles yeah. how to write them how to find subjects and it's really cool because we gave them a tour of the radio station virtually and then uh, we kind of gave them tips and tricks and then we're like thanks guys they then used our tips and tricks to write their own article and let me tell you <laughs> it's really good they did a fantastic job so they have an outdoor classroom that's being built just outside of their school cool and yeah it's super yeah. cool like I would have loved to have an outdoor classroom at my school <laughs> exactly. like not being stuck inside all yeah. the time and uh, honestly they sent it over their grade 6 teacher sent it over and we really didn't have to do any work at all they no. did such a great job all of the grammar all of the spelling the way it was written the quotes everything and I was like uh, this is ready for publishing so that's exactly what we did we threw it up onto our website they did a bang up job um i i couldn't even believe it it was just fantastic and you know what also impressed me um we probably spent a good hour talking to all of them they were so engaged oh, in the yeah. conversation so many fantastic questions um because you know how sometimes when you're talking to to students yeah you know sometimes we, people phase a out a little as well, totally right? sometimes people phase out and aren't super engaged yeah. these students were so interested in what we had to say and uh, just the questions that they kept on hammering at us. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. And one of the kids was talking about how he's doing his own personal newspaper right? and all this stuff. I got to say, when we got the article sent to us saying, hey, can you proofread it? I, I kind of felt bad because we couldn't adjust it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm really bad at my job because it's like there's no grammar mistakes, no words that's spelled wrong, especially they're French based, right? So uh, switching over to English can be tough, but no, nope, they, they right? rocked it. I was like, you guys uh, wrote great in yeah. English. Um, I don't even speak French. So yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this was, yeah, yeah no, they so. did a fantastic job. So you can check that out, of yeah, course, it's on cockernow.com. And that is everything going in, on in town. No home sense because uh, it wouldn't survive. And then uh, you can grab <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's so mad. Uh, you can grab this podcast anywhere you grab podcasts. It goes up every single Wednesday. And uh, thanks again, Lauren. Thank you.